Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel. I am so excited for our first YouTube video. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the two entry level cyber security certifications which are EJPT and CEH. We'll be looking at various aspects while comparing them both like what approach do they follow? Which certification has a better job market? Which certification is cost effective? And which certification has a better validity? So, without further delay, let's begin. Before hopping on to the comparison, here are some basics about both the certifications. EJPD is powered by Elan Security, whereas CEH is powered by EC Council. In EJPD, you get to do 20 questions in 72 hours, whereas in CEH, we get to do 125 questions in 4 hours. EJPT is specific role in the industry, whereas CEH is more generic. In case you have not checked the syllabus out for both of these certifications, you can check the link in the description box. Let's compare them both on the basis of what approach do they follow. In EJPT, questions are to be answered while testing a corporate network which makes it a 100% practical exam. CEH is a theory-based exam where you get to do multiple choice questions which will help you to attain the foundational knowledge of penetration testing vertical. Here is a bird's eye view of the content for these certifications which will help you in understanding what you can expect in both of these certifications. EJPT contains networking concept, basic vulnerability assessment, web application assessment, manual web exploitation, basic information gathering and reconnaissance. On the other hand, CEH offers 20 modules which contains the EJPT syllabus plus various other segments such as IoT hacking, cloud computing and 18 other modules. Although Labels for EJPT is included in CEH, we should remember that EJPT gives an edge due to the certification being 100% practical. To overcome this, CEH has introduced CEH practical. Let's look at the breakdown. CEH will focus on the knowledge which will be in the theoretical form, whereas CEH practical will ensure that you are able to put that knowledge to use while testing a corporate network. Now, if you think that you have the required knowledge to crack CEH practical, congratulations! Because CEH practical does not require to be a holder of CEH certificate. Now, let's compare them both on the basis of job market. EJPT certification is more recent. Whereas, CEH has been there while the cyber security field was evolving. EJPT has a weaker job market as compared to CEH which presently have a stronger job market as of date while recording this video. Also, CEH has a better HR reach presently. I have been watching cyber security jobs on Glassdoor, LinkedIn, Indeed from quite some time. To be honest, I have always seen CEH being listed under preferred certification. Look at this. Now, that could be possible due to the time the certification have spent in the job market. Please note, it is a preferred certification, it is not a necessary certification to have. If you have relevant knowledge of the certification and you do not hold the certification, it is completely okay according to various companies. And if the company to which you are applying has listed CEH certificate to be a necessity, please take my advice run as far as possible from that job posting. Hopping on to our third aspect of comparison which is validity. Validity of a certificate is an important aspect to consider while choosing to opt for a certification. 
EJPT is valid until they come up with a newer exam version whereas CEH has a definite timeline which is 3 years from the date of issue. Present EJPT version is 1.0 whereas present CEH version is 11. So if EJPT comes up with a newer exam version tomorrow, your present certificate would be invalid. Coming to our last pillar of comparison which could be a major deciding factor to which certification to opt for is cost. EJPT exam voucher is for $200 and for training you can opt for INA startup pass. Whereas in case of CEH, you can buy the courseware for $850 which will include training and exam cost. Also, if you would like to appear for the exam directly, you will have two options. First would be Pearson View voucher which would cost you around $1199 and second would be ECC exam voucher which would cost you around $950. Before giving my opinion, I would like to tell you that this video is not sponsored by any of the companies mentioned. It is my own personal opinion, keeping all aspects in mind. You may have a different point of view, which is completely okay. But if so, please do let me know in the comment section what do you think. I will be more than happy to see this via your perspective. So, I believe people who are just starting out to learn cyber security should definitely consider opting for EJPT certification because hands-on experience would be really helpful and you get to learn real world skills. Also, if you are starting out, it is more affordable certification. People who have spent some time in cyber security field, it could be bug hunting, auditing, information security should opt for CEH certification for people seeking job change in cyber security industry certification may get you through the initial screening and ATS but knowledge will help you in clearing the technical interviews and discussions focus on your knowledge first then try to opt for a certification and if through the process anyone offers you a certification and says they can guarantee that you will 100% pass the exam, please use the block feature for that specific platform. Before summing up the video, I would like to share this thought with you. Cyber security is a journey, not a destination, that could be achieved by holding a certification. In cyber security, it is always about learning new things, techniques while living on your timeline. So just keep learning, keep grinding. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the content, please press the like button. If not, please do press the dislike button and do let me know what you would want me to improve upon. In case of any query, my Instagram handle is listed here. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Till then, goodbye. I'll see you in the next video.